Hello everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli, otherwise known as Mr. Diesel. That's because I can't hardly open a car door without bumping into another diesel airplane to fly. The latest is this one, it's a 2172S Skyhawk converted to diesel by a company called Africare. Now you probably haven't heard of Africare, but that's because even though they've been in the diesel conversion uh, business longer than practically anyone else, most of their airplanes go to Africa or overseas, but they're beginning to expand that market. And one thing they're doing that no one else is doing is converting the 172 to the CD-155, the 155 horsepower diesel that Continental makes. Now that'll make it almost the equivalent of the new 172 diesel. So uh, we're going to take a look at the flying that in a couple of months, but for now, here's Jimmy Lockhart to tell us what the company's up to now. Uh, we've been doing these conversions on the Cessna 172 since 2005. Uh, we've done a total of 66 conversions to date. Uh, most of our market concentration has been overseas in Africa and other countries where Avgas is at a minimum or non-existent. Uh, recently we've purchased uh, some inventory aircraft and are going to try to distribute these aircrafts here in the United States. Uh, we have an inventory of four spec airplanes we're building up at this time and uh, we will be marketing those uh, across the United States and of course to where our usual business is in uh, Africa and other countries again that just don't have Avgas uh, readily available. Uh, we found it to be a, a great uh, tool for uh, many companies, a lot of people have been successful with this product and uh, we really enjoy doing them. Uh, our main concentration at this time is aircrafts 1997 and newer. Uh, we're trying to find clean, uh, clean uh, damage free, damage history free aircraft. Uh, we purchase those aircraft, we supply a retrofit kit and install it. Uh, if the aircraft needs paint work we do that. Uh, we usually go ahead and perform all mandatory service bulletins if they have not been done, uh, put them through a, uh, a, very, uh, uh, a very tight annual inspection in order to hopefully provide the customer with as close to new as possible retrofitted uh, Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Uh, so basically they're buying a, a maybe a 10 or 11 year old airplane that's in, in pretty much new condition by the time we're done with it. Uh, the price range is going to be anywhere from $250,000 to $295,000, depending how it's spec'd, uh, depending if it's got a new paint job, depending if it's got new interior. Uh, you also have uh, the options of doing avionics upgrades. Uh, now that you've seen how the engines go into the airplanes and what's involved in the conversion, Travis and I have taken one of the airplanes off from uh, uh, Tamiami Kendall, headed south, basically over the Gulf. So during the climb, uh, Travis, we were seeing between 450 and 500 feet, which is fairly typical for this, I guess. I guess. So we'd hope to fly the 155. We didn't get a chance. We don't have one available. Uh, what would we expect to see if this were a 155? Uh, you see a better climb, especially on takeoff. I thought this did well between uh, 4,000 and, and 6,500 feet. Uh, that's where you really saw it. But the 155, I think through 8,500 feet, it climbed at least 500 feet per minute the entire way. Uh, and it's got 20 more horsepower. It's doing it on the same fuel flow, though. Same fuel flow, yeah. Now, if I turn the camera around, we'll take a look at the panel here. This is a 2000 S model Millennium, and it's basically a steam gauge airplane. It has a Garmin 530. Uh, it has the KX-155A. Uh, and I think you were saying uh, this might have some aftermarket additions to it. Uh, in the avionics? Yeah, it does. I think it, in the Millennium Edition, it might be a little bit heavier than your R model 172. You're pretty much taking the avionics as they come in the conversions. You're not doing too much to add avionics? No, um, unless the customers really want something, we, we'd uh, add, add it if they wanted to. Now, is this typical of an airplane that might go to Africa? Yeah, very typical, actually. We just sent two to Ethiopia that were very similar to this. You saw this one's twin in the hangar, another year 2000 model. So these do very well in Africa, the Bendix King Avionics. This one has the 530, which is nice. Uh, and as for cruise speed, uh, about 115 knots here at 8,500, and that's on 5.4 gallons an hour. Find a full report on the Africare diesel conversions in the December 2014 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com.